In a previous video, we looked at how to link activities using intents, which meant that we were able to link one activity to a second activity to have that come up on the screen. Now this demonstration picks up from those skills, so if you haven't covered that information yet, I recommend you go back and review that. Now I have a new project set up here with a main XML file for the main screen, and I have a text view and an edit text, which is a text input, and a button. And the button is set up so that when it's clicked, it's going to cause the second activity to display. And on here, we just have two text views. Now what we're going to do with this is set it up so that when you type in some data into the edit text, that it's going to send or pass data to our second activity and display the information from the edit text. So in this scenario, this would be a common thing where you'd ask the user for some inf information and some input, and then you may move them to another activity where you want to use the information that they've entered. So this video is going to demonstrate how to capture that data. So just a, a quick overview of how my file has already been set up. Uh, I do have both of my activities, and I have my manifest with my activity set up so that I will be able to go from one activity to the other. My Java file has been set up. It's going to listen for the button click event, and then it's going to run this on click listener, which creates an intent, and it says to use this activity right from this class and start the second class activity and then we call the intent so this builds on the previous demonstration of connecting activities with intents but in our case now we want to capture the data from an edit text and pass that to our second activity so to get this started, I have a line of text in here that I'll just uncomment, which is getting the edit text, and we're assigning it to an instance variable called et for edit text. And uh, we did the find view by ID, and its ID is just called some user text. So now from this point forward, if we want to refer to what is in that edit text, we can just use et. So now that we're able to access the information for what's in that text field, we can come down here and bundle it up with our intent when we're calling our new activity. So the way that we do that is to use the put extra method of the intent. So I'm going to use my intent dot put extra, and you can see that we have um, a bunch of different overrides based on the type of data that we're going to be sending. And what we're really looking for is we're sending uh, strings, string values. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to be looking for uh, the string name and string value. And we're only sending one piece of information, otherwise down here you can see the square brackets and this would be sending several values. So right now we're just sending one. So uh, this is the one I'm going to select. And our extra name, this is, I'm just going to make up a name and we'll, we'll say user name. And then the value is what we're getting from our, from our edit text value. So the way we resolve that is we say um, et, which is our edit text dot get text. And we need to convert that to a string, to an editable string. So I'm going to separate that with a dot and use the two string method. So with that we're going to use our intent. We're going to use the put extra method. We're assigning basically a key and a value pair in here. So our key we're calling it username and the value is coming from our edit text. We're using the get text method and we're converting it to a text string. So save that 
And now in order to get everything to work, we have to go into the second Java that is going to capture this information. And then remember our goal is to take the username and put it into this text. This text is called result underscore text. So we're going to have to get that string and um, replace this with what was submitted from this text box or this edit text. So let's go to second Java. And this activity is already set to display. So we're going to add a little bit more onto this so that uh, we can get that text field. So to do this, we're going to refer to our text view and I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it name view and that is equal to the type text view and we're going to find view by ID and we want it the, to go into the result text and I have to add import the widget okay next we can set the name view set text to get intent and we're gonna get the extras and the other one we put the extra now we're gonna get the extra and we're going to get the string that was in the edit text, which was called username. So now I'm gonna save that and everything looks good. So I'm going to test it in the emulator. Okay, so here we are in the emulator. Type in Gustin, tap continue, and here we are. So that's the basics of passing data using an intent.